Right, so I just posted a Instagram story to my Instagram page. My Instagram is at Hamza97x. I posted a story, it was like I just put some music over and it was just kind of like me, just kind of like dancing in a puffer jacket that I have, like a black puffer jacket. The, the jacket is probably four, five years old. I bought it pre-owned, which means that someone wore it for months, maybe years before I actually bought it. It looks kind of old. It's like an old night jacket. It doesn't even have like the night load logo on the front or anything. And I bought it for maybe like 30 pounds pre-owned and I've worn it for like years, almost everywhere, like on dates and everything, right? And the caption I put probably is fueled by ego. I'm not, when I look back to it now, retrospectively, it probably is like ego, but I, the caption I wrote was something like, um, 30K a month, but you'll still see me in the old jacket. And it really got me thinking about something interesting. My, my business makes about 30,000 per month income. And I know that that seems ridiculous. And I know that for a lot of people watching this, it kind of pisses them off. And they're like, no, uh, he, he's lying or he's scamming or whatever you want to say. The truth is, the truth is in every fucking video that I make, right? You know it. I'm, you see me come onto these videos and I tell you my deepest, darkest fucking secrets. I've, I've been totally and utterly honest. And so there's people who watch my videos or, you know, there's people who criticize me and they say, like, oh, Hamza's lying. Anyone who's watched a couple of my videos knows for a fact that at least, like, you know, there's a lot of things you can say about me, but one of them you know for a fact is that I'm, I'm a totally, brutally honest and authentic person. I don't hide anything, bro. I don't, like, I am fucking honest to the core because that's just, it's just like the value that's inside of me, right? So... I can just try and show you like screenshots and all this shit of like, hey, guys, this is how much money I make, please believe me, but I'm not gonna do it, okay? I say I'm making 30K, you either believe me or you don't, I don't give a fuck, right? For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna act like you believe me because it is the truth, right? And it, it blows my mind too. It's 30K a month right now, it'll be more than 100K per month at the end of this year. Truly, it'll be more than 100,000 pounds income per month at the end of this year. Right now, I'm making more than 10 times what's the average in my country. It's about 3,000 a month. It's like the average of like adults in like who are age 30. I'm age 24. Pretty sure the average of people my age is like less than this. So I'm making about 12 times the average. But this is income as well. So I have to be, I have to admit that, that this is income. So 30,000 is about the income. The, this month of March is going to be a bit more than 30K. And like in one or two months from now, it'll be more like 40K or something, right? And how that is broken up in my business, these are all rough figures, right? 30,000. 4,000 is given to my family because I've, I've pretty much employed my family to like work for me. Like my sister is my assistant and there's other things, right? So 4,000 goes to, 2,000 goes to my sister, 2,000 goes to my father. And so that's leaving 26K. Now I have a team of editors and if you've wondered, if you've ever kind of thought of seeing the comments, which is like, oh, you know, like Hamza's so consistent with his, this work. I wonder how he's doing it. Hamza's, you know, his channel's growing. It. Bro, you want the fucking secret? This is my team of editors, literally. Like, I'm, I'm not a special guy. I don't really say anything new on the, on the videos or anything. It's just my editors should have just fucking made us blow the fuck up on YouTube. So all fucking credit to them. And they get... It, we have like a special like rate and you know mathematical equations and all this autistic shit to calculate how much money I should pay them per video. But I'd say on average, it's maybe about... 200 ish pounds per video and then they get like bonuses and everything so i'd say my team of editors five editors it'd be more than 10k per month that i pay all of them put together because it'd be about 200 pounds per video we upload every single day then at the end of the month they all get like a 250 pound bonus if we've uploaded consistently every single day um and i could work out the math but we'll just say about 10k and um We've got like, you know, random business expenses and the re pretty much the rest of the money, there's about half of the money left, almost all of it. Let's say out of the 30,000 income we have, 14.3,000 is just being stacked in the business account in investments and everything. I get from the 30,000 pounds that like the business makes, I get a personal sort of payment allowance. I'm an employee of the business. Like it, it's weird how it works with like tax reasons and everything. The business is like a separate entity and it's now like I'm an employee of the business. So I get a wage of 737 pounds a month, which is the, if you've looked into like businesses and stuff in the UK, you'll know exactly why it's that number because it's like, it's like the mathematical equation that if you pay yourself 737 pounds that's per month, that's the most you can pay yourself without needing to pay like income tax and everything. So you kind of save some money if you pay yourself exactly that number. It's, it's essentially the highest number to not pay any tax, but it's also like 
pretty much like a very low wage compared to like how much the business is making and everything right so in my personal like allowance is 737 pounds per month that's like that's pretty fucking broke shit i'm not gonna lie you know it's, it's enough i live at home and everything but like, this is why this is why i act like i'm broke because technically like i am and it's very interesting because if i told you my net worth you'd be like hang on what the fuck you're not broke at all i'm saying like you've got a bigger net worth than like a lot of people and your business makes a fucking lot of money and it like it stacks it saves a lot of money it invests a lot of money and yet i wear a fucking bathroom for my videos i wear the same old jacket i've got trainers that i've got a little hole in them i don't really buy that many like new stuff or anything i bought like one piece of jewelry in the last like years and it was fucking 30 pounds it was an expensive piece i act broke so that I can become rich. I see so many, like I'm gonna make a, a video on the main channel about this, but I see so many motherfuckers who act rich so that they can stay broke. What a fucking disgrace. You don't see me like, you know, I've ran some of my videos. You don't see me truly get like angry at some stuff. This is like the thing that truly like makes my blood boil. There's something, I'll upload this video first so you can kind of like see the concept and then I'll upload like a short version of this video onto the main channel. There's something I'm going to say on the main channel, which is along the lines of like, this is a practical video, so don't be like, I'm going to say this on that video, right? So I'm, I'm going to say, okay, this, I'm going to give you a practical step. If you don't take this, you're a fucking Jeffrey, because that means that you're not actually on self-improvement. You're not actually trying to improve. You're just watching this video for fun, for dopamine, right? So if you... If you promise right now that you're actually trying to become more like Adonis and you want my videos to help you, pause this video right now and do exactly what I say. Pause this video, go downstairs, go to the kitchen, open up the kettle, open up your kettle, look inside. There's lime scale inside of your family's kettle. It's old as fuck. So how do you have trainers that cost more than £100 when your family drinks from a dirty fucking kettle? How do you buy clothes that are more than a hundred pounds each? How do you buy this expensive shit for yourself with the newest fucking iPhone when your family is broke? Chances are you're one of your parents is overworking to the point that it's deteriorating their health and they're going sleep deprived. They might be addicted to some kind of substance because they need it to like to to cope with their fucking shitty reality. And here we have young people buying like Yeezys and like I don't know the the truth is I don't know a lot about materialistic shit, right? So I like I I know that people spend a lot of money on like trainers and clothes and whatever, but like I don't know many brands or anything. I know like Nike and shit, but we have young people buying this shit when their family are broke. We have young people buying this shit when they're broke. How do you have a car on finance? You have literally just signed a contract to steal money from your future self to buy a product that you can't even afford. You can't even buy it. So why the fuck have you bought it right now? Because no one wants to appear at the level that they truly are anymore. When you buy a car on finance, what you're saying is the car that I can actually afford right now will hurt my ego. So I will steal money from my future self so that I can have a car that I can't afford right now so that the people who see me right now will think that I'm at a level ahead of where I'm actually at. What a dumb decision. This, like, what pisses me off about this with concepts like this, those dumbasses have clicked off the video. They will not watch videos on finance. They would have clicked on this just, you know, because there's money involved and everything. And they would have clicked off as soon as I started ranting. Chances are, if you're watching this, you're already on my side. So the video is kind of pointless because we're not going to convert any of these materialistic spurgs who spend a lot of money. Hopefully, like, you might be, like, a recovering materialistic spurg. You're watching this and you're like, oh, yeah, like, he, you'll be commenting, like, oh, yeah, like, um, I used to spend a lot of money and I realized, like, it didn't make me happy. Yeah, of course it didn't fucking make you happy. Of course it didn't. There is no excuses right now to be ignorant of the facts because there's so much research that proves now that materialistic purchases don't make you happy that it does absolutely nothing to your feelings of well-being actually it kind of reduces them because now you've just got more stress you have more financial stress and you've also got like more of a potential loss oh my camera's gonna die okay. it blows my mind that the majority of young people who make 10 times less money than me have outfits that cost 10 times more than mine how is that possible? If you do the right things, 
Step one is increase your income. Step two, stop being a dumbass with your money. There is no reason why you can't get financially free in the next few years. Anyone who tells you otherwise, I, I see comments when I talk about financial freedom, I see comments of people, oh, but uh, like all this fucking limiting, oh, but I'm in India, shut the fuck up. All, the, all this shit, but, but, but everyone doesn't have the same opportunity. You just got lucky as, shut the fuck up. You just got lucky as a YouTuber. You know? Shut the fuck up. You do the right things. You increase your income with some kind of business or some kind of like good ass skill instead of just going through the normal career route. Or at least if you're going through the career route, like fucking make a good amount of money, learn outside of your work, do work outside of your work hours so that you can actually excel in your career. Make good financial decisions. Stop buying stupid shit. Stop buying experiences and start investing for your future. There is no reason within 10 years that you can't be, you and your entire family can't be financially free by your efforts. What a disgrace it is to grow to age 30, to age 40, to age 50 and still need to work because you made these stupid decisions when you were 24 and you wanted to go on a lad's holiday or some bullshit when you couldn't afford it. These are the these are like the years to grow. If you're in my if you're in your 20s and you've been fed this lie that you're, the 20s are the best time of your life, have fun. You do realize who's giving you that advice, don't you? 40 to 50 year old people who had fun in their 20s, you know, who partied and, and spent loads of money on Yeezys and all this fucking bullshit, and they still need to work full time. Why are you taking advice from the majority of people in your life? If they're broke, if they're above age 30, 35, and they still have to work, they are unsuccessful. Of course, oh, perhaps they, they could be successful because that janitor is more of a man than you all. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Like, yeah, of course he's helping for his family. That's, that's really noble. Congratulations. And we'll look up to that guy's character, his humility, his leadership. Fair enough, yeah. But if you want to follow in his footsteps and be a janitor when you're 60 years old, bro, you're a dumbass. Oh, but he is providing for his family. Yeah, but you could be providing for your family in a much better, more efficient, more effective way so that you're actually at home with your family. There is, you've got to understand that what you see online about these people making so much money, like you see in this video, it's not a lie. It's not as unrealistic as it seems. I guarantee that there's actually, a, like you might be watching this video thinking, no, 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 uh, 30,000 a month, he, he's lying. And you know, that's, I couldn't do it. There, there's actually a fair amount of people who are watching this video and they're like, yeah, that's, it's not even that much. They, they might not even be making that much money themselves, but there's like some young entrepreneurs who are watching this video and their, their mindset, their belief system, it's just set. And they're like, yeah, like, yeah, of course he could be, like he's got, like they're looking at me, like he's got an influence over like 300,000, an audience of 300,000, 80,000 of them are active. So yeah, he could be making a lot more than 30K a month. Of course he could. What I see from young people, bro, it, it saddens me and it angers me because it angers me because of, because it's not your, dis like, it's not just on you. What, what a greedy personality it is to think that, you know, you've just started making money, so you're going to start spending it on yourself. Like your parents have worked jobs for you, jobs that they don't even like. They've been sleep deprived for decades for you and so when you make money as much as your parents say you know they just want you to be happy but when you make money and you spend it on some fucking trainers like you need new shoes you need like gym shoes and stuff like there's a difference i guess but like you're buying some fancy shit to impress you know it's that quote from fight club to impress people that you that don't even like you in the first place and they don't like you even if you've bought those shoes I used to see this when I lived in Manchester and I lived amongst like this, you know, like, um, geez type of crowd. You know that fucking shit that people say and like they comment on each other's pictures like, geez, fire emoji. Like, oh, that's paying shit the fuck up, bro. I used to see this all the time with these cringy motherfuckers where they would all come into the club and I could tell like, I don't know much about shoes, but I knew like by what they'd say, like some of the shoes that they were buying were really expensive. And it just, I, I used to feel fucking so cringy because I used to think, wait, you've just spent your student loan on those 200 pound trainers that look ugly as fuck just so other people who know about those 200 pound trainers, other people who have bought those same trainers, give you a compliment. You're just in a circle jerk. You've both just lost 400 pounds combined. You've given it to Nike and you're both just there like commenting in the fire emoji on each other's pictures. You're a fucking joke. Honestly, like, I usually try and like try to be more positive in my videos and try and encourage you. But sometimes you need to rant at this shit. Like I, if you do what I'm saying right now and you're still watching, I hope you feel shameful. I hope you feel bad. I hope you feel guilty. Use that negative feeling inside of you. Don't be a little bitch. Don't think, oh, Hamza's being horrible. Don't be a little bitch. 
feel that negativity inside of you, feel that shame and think like, you know what, fuck, I could take more responsibility. Why the fuck did I just invest in Nike's company instead of investing in myself or my family? Feel that negativity inside of you, feel that guilt right now when you think about your parents overworking. This is why we work hard in our 20s. This is why we do the hard work, especially when we don't feel like it. Because we have that energy and that capacity and we're so privileged with the, the education, the real education, not the fucking shit you learn in school, but the real education, the specific knowledge that you can learn. You want to make money online in some specific business, you can find a free guide to do so. The only thing that's stopping you is yourself. There has to be some kind of negative trait inside of you right now if you haven't made significant progress in retiring your parents. Let me say that again. There has to be some kind of negative trait that you need to fucking sacrifice, you need to squash out of you right now if you haven't made significant progress in retiring your parents. Maybe it's laziness and procrastination. Maybe it's fucking substance abuse. Maybe it's selfishness. If you haven't made significant progress, and that could be, for example, working to get into like university for the for a real fucking degree not some bullshit but like you know you're gonna make a good amount of money from this degree and that's how you're gonna be able to like pro provide for your family fair enough it could be that you've been making progress in business or at least you've been like putting some good effort maybe you've not been making money but you've been put you know you're experiencing like the first level of entrepreneurship which is like you need to go fail at like five bin businesses first but that's still progress if you feel like you're just directionless and those cringy fucking videos I see of like YouTubers and like, oh, like I'm 24 and I don't know what to do in my life. I'm 30 and I wasted my 20s. And those videos get viral because everyone's like, oh, I, I'm stupid too. Like, shut the fuck up. I'm 24 and I know exactly what I want to do in my life because I stare at my wall. There's no excuse to be ignorant and there's no excuse to be uneducated because everything you need to know right now about finance, about investing, about making money online and all businesses and everything, they're all, it's all the information's right there. All you have to do is just learn and implement. And of course it's harder said than done, but it's like you spend an hour a day on fucking video games. You spend 10 hours a week on Instagram looking at ass. You should feel bad, bro. Honestly, our fucking generation should feel bad. We have a level of privilege that our parents and especially our grandparents cannot even comprehend how much money that we can make right now, how much like specific knowledge that we can learn so quickly right now. We should feel so shameful if we haven't used that. I feel shit. I've made pretty good progress, but I feel shameful that I've only been making progress for two years, that for most of my adult life, for like for six years, five years straight, I fucked around. And, you know, I'm grateful for it. And, and it was because of the fucking around that made this money and this business and everything. And, you know, life works out and everything. But it's like, you've got to be looking back and just thinking like, fuck, why was I doing that Jeffrey fucking instant gratification shit when like my parents are overworking? Do some journaling, bro. Stare at your fucking wall and feel guilty for this shit. I know that guilt often isn't like a good positive feeling and shame isn't a good thing. But sometimes it, it can really fuel you to like get your ass into gear. Visualize your parents like waking up early for the last fucking 20 years and like they're literally sleep deprived They hear their alarm go off in the morning and they literally as the same as you they don't want to get up And they've done that for decades To get you to where you are right now If you don't feel like you're like paying them back bro like You're a lot closer to Jeffrey than you actually think now you could be a little bitch you could click off this video, you could you could uh, write a mean comment about Hamza and oh, Hamza's insecure because of his left ear or some bullshit. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Or you can sit there like a fucking man, stare at your wall and think, you know what? I do feel guilty, I do feel shameful. Maybe I should do something about it. Maybe I should help my family. That guy on the, the YouTube videos, he is a bit of a prick. He did talk like an asshole, but he's got a good point. I am being a jackass, I am being a lazy fuck. You shouldn't be too hard on yourself. But every now and then you need a slap to your face to say like, yo, wake the fuck up, bro. Focus now. Come on. Enough of that Jeffrey shit. Dude. Don't tell, bro, sh shut the fuck up about one, one hour of video games a day. Retire, f retire your family first. Retire your parents, then play as, as much video games and sweeties and shit. Or watch as much Netflix as you want after you've retired your family. How about you take some response? Oh, but I, they're not my responsibility. Shut the fuck up. How about you take some responsibility first? Because if, if you're not going to take responsibility for your loved ones, then you're not, you're not a man. You're not a man, you're a fucking modern boy. You're a fucking weak little bitch. 
This is also like I'm, I'm kind of speaking to myself in this in this case. It's almost like a reminder to myself, so I'm being like a bit mean, and I know that it's kind of an ineffective way to like influence someone. So I do apologize for that, and I should come across in a, a bit more of a positive way. But I've just wanted to rant about this shit, man. I feel like you would benefit right now if you did the exact same thing to yourself. I know it's like it's cringe or whatever, but if you write down on on a piece of paper, if you this is weird, but like go look at yourself in the mirror. And just think like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Maybe you're, you're doing pretty good right now. That's really good. But like, you spent the last fucking years just fucking around. You spent the last few years just watching stuff. Just, you woke up and you grabbed your phone. That's the cardinal sin of self-improvement is that you woke up and you just grabbed your phone in the first thing in the morning. You spent 20 minutes, half an hour, one hour, just scrolling on all the apps, checking all the notifications. There's most of your productivity gone. There's most of your focus gone. You could have used your brain power that day to excel forward and like provide for your family. And instead you chose to invest in Instagram, in the platform and the algorithms. And you chose to essentially see those adverts and you made Instagram and Facebook money instead of yourself. You're buying expensive shit. You're just invested in Nike instead of yourself, instead of your family. It's really, really worth it for you to take some time right now and like recalibrate yourself and actually ask yourself what's important to you. Because those motherfuckers that you're trying to impress with that, that iPhone, that you know, like, oh, but the, the best picture is quality and shit. Those, that clothes, that outfit that costs you like fucking ridiculous, 150 pounds. And that's not even ridiculous to a lot of people. It, it blows my mind, like an outfit of like, hundreds it's it's just normal and it's like an, an expensive outfit these days is like a thousand pounds or more than that it blows my mind how is it like I'm, I'm not trying to boast or anything but it's like this is at least one thing which i haven't really done many stu like I'll, I'll totally admit i probably spend like too much money on like food deliveries and that kind of has like a weird benefit where it's like yeah it saves my time i spend like maybe 500 pounds a month on just getting food delivered and it's like yeah i could probably reduce that but like i the one thing I can say with confidence, I've never wasted money on shit like like expensive clothes or any bullshit like this. Still to this day, I shop in Primark, bro. People have asked, like uh, my video editor, Sam, like the first, we've got five video editors, but the first video editor, he's like a really good friend of mine. And he asked me for like, you know, gym fits, like, you know, gym clothes. I told him I shop at Primark. I, I shop at Primark. Primark is like pretty much like the cheapest clothes store in the UK. It's like you get the shirts there for like three pounds, like four dollars or something. It's like where like, not really where bloke people go, but it's like, yeah, like <laughs> you're probably broke if you're in there. Yeah, bro, like, I'm broke, bro. I'm acting like I'm broke. And what's interesting, me and my friend Chris said this, like, bro, you can be wearing the, the simpler shit, three pound shirts. I sound like a dickhead, but I'm trying to encourage you here. I'm going to sound like an egotistical dick, but like, bro, I look fucking better in a three pound shirt than most guys doing like a hundred pound shirt. Let's be honest. This is why you, you, you gain, you make gains outside of fucking your fashion and shit. Like improve your fashion, look good, fair enough. And there's like, like some kind of benefits there. But if you're spending hundreds on some shit and like, bro, you're skinny as fuck. You're skinny fat, you're fat. You got your priorities fucked up, man. Yeah. <laughs> Apologies for just swearing at you a lot today. But like, I feel like someone had to say it to you. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.